the Lewis structure of phosphorus 5 chloride. This has got the formula PCl5. Now that means that the phosphorus is bonded to 5 chlorines. So we'll take 5 chlorines out onto the screen to bond to the phosphorus. Now each of these bonds must be a shared pair of electrons. So we will share a pair of electrons between each phosphorus and each chlorine. Like so. Now, the phosphorus originally started off with five electrons. And if we count up the X's around here, you'll see there are five electrons. That means that each of the chlorines then has provided one electron, which means that around the phosphorus there are ten electrons. And that means that the structure adopted will be a trigonal bipyramidal structure. The phos phosphorus uses all of the available electrons in its bonding. In fact, it's expanded its octet. It now has 10 electrons around the central phosphorus. To completely f finish the Lewis structure, we would put six more electrons around each of the chlorines, because chlorine started off with seven, and that would complete the octet of each of the chlorines as well. So phosphorus, five chloride, is trigonal, bipyramidal. Remember the structures we have here, five charge centers, one, two, three, four, five. The five charge centers will adopt this trigonal pyramidal, or trigonal bipyramidal rather, uh, orientation. And there will be two bond angles, one of 90 degrees between the axial sites and the equatorial sites, and a 120 degree angle between any two equatorial positions.